a lot of people have problems with uh, Westerbeek engines and the belt uh, making a lot of black dust. Uh, this is a result of the high amp alternators. Uh, you're charging maybe one, two, even three battery banks. Uh, I went to install a serpentine belt on ours and found that there's no kit available, so we had to build one. So I took a few clips and uh, kind of assembled it. So if anybody has an interest in doing the same thing, uh, you know, you can view this video and have a little bit of an idea where to start. Uh, now, I don't really recommend everybody go out and just take their pulleys and start cutting them apart. But uh, if you have a little bit of machinist skills about you and you want to try it, here it is. Try it out. Okay, the lower pulley, if you can't read it, is again off of a Cadillac, but it's a rear-wheel drive Cadillac, and the part m number is 1005588-1, GM part number. Here we've taken the water pump pulley and cut the uh, single V-groove flange right off there. And that's what you're left with. This is not for the uh, meek, right? And uh, this is actually a Cadillac. Oh, I don't know, about a 1999 or 2003, something like that. Smog pump pulley. And you can see we cut that off as well. You got to be a fairly precision. And there's the part number right there. If you can't read it, it's 1640145. All right. Now we're going to fit this onto here and, uh, and line it up. All right, and the next thing you want to do, and this is extremely important, is to take a nice straight edge, line up with the lower pulley at the top, and when this spins, that should be lined up perfectly. It was off uh, to spinning it and adjusting it uh, little by little. I've gotten it to where it's uh, absolutely perfect in line with the lower pulley. And as long as you're using the right uh, uh, pulleys from upstairs to downstairs, uh, you can use a straight edge. If there's an offset on the pulley, you can't do this. Okay, so once you have everything fitted up, um, it should move quite easily. And uh, as well uh, as be nice and straight when you spin it. Now, I do not have that welded yet. I just have it fit up. And if, if, uh, if you can spin it and see movement, you need to start over again. Now, I'm not going to tell you this is an easy task. This took me about, um, about 45 minutes to get ground properly and nudged here and there and bent to where it uh, is within ten thousandths of an inch uh, to spin it like that. But it, if you're going to do this and you want reliable belts, you really have to have this. Next, uh, you want to take and just give some little tiny tacks. You don't want to stress the metal out. You don't want to uh, weld out one of the legs all at once because what you're going to do is cause the thing to warp. So give it a little tiny tacks all the way around it. And uh, then go check it on the engine and make sure it's still true before you weld it all out. And it still spins just fine. So we're going to go ahead and weld it, it out. It looks like all welded out. It's not the prettiest welds, but uh, they're certainly strong and will uh, be sufficient for what we need. And there you have it, a Western Beat 30B running serpentine pulley.